Well, good evening, good people. <clears throat> Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's had a great day. I've been on the road working over uh, on that uh, old house uh, in central Virginia. Um, and things getting that bathroom and stuff together will be going back over there tomorrow and it takes a while to get stuff uploaded and i was so busy trying to hurry up and get done and get back here um that i didn't post a whole lot of stuff but lo and behold i leave and all kinds of crazy things end up happening but you know i have to say something you know um shout out to my guy cfo sports okay j tuck j tuck and i are actually um tied together in a couple of ways okay you might remember last year at the draft uh there's a shot of me dmv uh game time brian primetime phil and jay tuck on espn okay i'm literally holding up joe boo and they're like look at this guy he's got a voodoo doll what the what and it's me and my posse all right there we're waving at espn and stuff so i i thought that that was really really cool um there but my man jay tuck um, he was talking about CD lamb and all the stuff that's going on. And he was talking about his story about CD lamb. And he was saying that he was predicting that the Cowboys were going to take him. So, you know, and they ended up taking him. So he, you know, he feels tied with him. And it's like, you know, I have that same feeling when it comes to Dak Prescott. You know, people will always say that, you know, you're just a Dak Prescott fan. Well, I was a Cowboy fan before I was a Dak Prescott fan. But right after the Senior Bowl, and I'm not the college guy. You want the college guy that knows everything and all that, you, you watch Vosh Lombardi, okay? But I watched the Senior Bowl in 2016 because the Cowboys, Jason Garrett and crew, were the coaches, and everybody was talking up Carson Wentz. And so I was like, well, let me watch this and see this guy Carson Wentz. But then I saw Dak Prescott who ended up being the MVP of the game, and he outplayed Carson Wentz. And so I said, who is this guy? And I looked it up, found out he was at Mississippi State, you know, a school that never really wins. And here it was. They were ranked number one. And in my mind, I kept saying, man, wait a minute, the competition that he's playing with in the Southeast Conference, they put like 50-plus players in the NFL every year. And here it was, Carson Wentz playing Division One AA, and you're not playing against that many NFL stars. And that's where I said, I did a video. And this is before I had more than 300 subscribers. I, I did a video on that and said Dak Prescott would be the perfect quarterback for the Cowboys. And in fact, was at that draft in Chicago. And on the second day, I got Joe Boo on the stage there at the draft and said, had a sign, draft Dak Prescott. And they did. And so that's one of the reasons why I've always been a Dak Prescott fan. That, and he's played really, really well. If he played like ass-ass, I'd be like, you know, I like you and everything, bro, but we got to get somebody else in here. But I look at him and I say, eh, I really like him. So that was just a little interesting story here to put in here. But it was funny because I came through and I sat down up here because I've got a couple of things I want to work on and all that. And I see this thing this article by Christopher Klein, Christopher Klein. Okay. Um, Christopher Klein, I think he works for USA Today. Here's the headlines that I saw. Now this is actually the article that's on Cowboys country. Should Dallas Cowboys trade for Saints Derek Carr to replace Dak Prescott? And I had a deja vu moment. I was like, wait a minute. We've been here before. Because I remember when we were sitting here with the contract negotiations for Dak um, four years ago. I remember that uh, Colin Cowherd said that the Cowboys should just let Dak Prescott walk and they should trade for Derek Carr instead of paying his demands. Derek Carr is a great quarterback and he'll definitely win things for the Cowboys. Okay, so lo and behold, here's this article. And, and I, I know some of you are going to say you don't remember. I, I, I've got proof. I got proof. But hold on. Let's, let's, let's deal with this article here. With the possibility of Dak Prescott leaving a free agency next offseason, should the Cowboys consider trading for Derek Carr? 
if this upcoming season proves to be the last dance for Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys, because the two sides can't agree on a long-term contract extension, then what's next? While we have frequently explained our belief that the Cowboys' plan, um, plan if they don't re-sign Prescott would be blow it up the roster and start over in the form of a rebuild, a new suggestion from fan sides, Christopher uh, Klein, proposes another route for the Cowboys could take, the trade market. Instead of blowing it up, they target a quarterback through the NFL draft uh, and targeting a quarterback through the NFL draft, like potentially Colorado's Shakur Sanders. Uh, you, you're going to need a top five pick for that, bro. Klein suggests the Cowboys could target New Orleans Saints signal caller, caller Derek Carr. If Prescott bolts, this could be the Cowboys' best chance to land a proven starter. Proven! Derek Carr has four Pro Bowl appearances to his resume, and he's a high-volume gamer, unafraid of bold throws, and capable of manufacturing explosive plays. Man, that guy sounds really good. Carr would be a cheaper option than Dak Prescott, uh, although despite his $12 million cap hit this season before it jumps to 51 in 2025. Wait a minute. I want you to listen to li- listen to this for a second. Dak Prescott's fifty five million dollars right now. You can get him under a new contract. The contract could average sixty million a year. Okay, so let me see if I get this straight. You let Dak Prescott walk, and you trade for a guy who's a fifty one million dollar cap hit. If the Cowboys were to a proven veteran quarterback starter that eventually is costly, that would be the rationale for parting ways with Prescott in the first place. If getting cheaper under center is the gold, then Trey Lance or Cooper Rush is a chance to be starters in 25, and that would make more sense. You're damn right it would make more sense, because here's what's funny. We talked about uh, – let, let me pull the tape here, okay? Let me pull the tape, because I, I want you to th- – this was – over three years ago. And you can see I'm outside in the snow and the cold. And Trade my hair people. was They definitely do. And they would definitely look at that and say, that's a, uh, and that would be, that would be a hell of an upgrade for them. And here's where we go with the Dallas Cowboys. Because you'll remember, not that long ago, when we were talking about Dak Prescott, you know, having to pay Dak Prescott just last year, some people said, the Dallas Cowboys should let Dak Prescott walk and try and trade for Derek Carr because Derek Carr would be a cheaper quarterback than Dak Prescott. Of course, with the weapons that the Dallas Cowboys have, of course, Derek Carr, he's a real quarterback, not like Dak Prescott. He can do marvelous things. You're not stepping down. Much the way Colin Cowherd. I lost myself. Okay. All right. So we, we can pull that. We can pull that. But here's the thing. I, I don't know why. I had a hiccup here. It felt like this was like uh, under siege, and they pulled the fuses and the computer jumps so my computer jumped on me all right so here's the thing here's where it gets to be interesting so Derek Carr had Devontae Adams Hunter Renfro uh what's the tight end that went to the Giants the Gi- that guy with the Giants and uh, Josh Jacobs as a running back. He had all of that, and they didn't make the playoffs. And he got run out. They, they literally said, you can go make a deal with somebody else. Okay? Let, let, let me say that, that, that that's literally what they did with Derek Carr. Derek Carr, with the – okay, let, let, me, let me be clear here. The season that he had, Devontae Adams, Hunter Renfro – Whatever the guy's name, that tight end that went to New York, that was a real good one, just had a problem staying healthy. And Josh Jacobs, he had 3,522 yards on 60.8% completions, 
24 TDs and 14 interceptions. Are you serious? And an 86.3 rating. With all the weapons in the world. Are you literally going to tell me to trade for Derek Carr? You're telling me to go with him, who last year in New Orleans, 68% completions, 3,800 yards, 25 TDs, 8 interceptions. You're literally telling me, let's let Dak walk. We'll go ahead and give up draft capital for a guy who's got a $51 million cap hit. I'm sorry. This is just straight up bullshit. This is just straight up bullshit. Sorry. I would rather, I would rather just play Trey Lance. Just play Trey Lance. Derek Carr has done absolutely positively nothing. He made the playoffs one time and they lost. One time. Period. End of story. For some reason, we have this whole thing that Derek Carr is a great guy. At least Andy Dalton went to the playoffs first four years of his career. Said that having Andy Dalton, they're the same oh, quarterback. Man. You look at the first four it's years of Andy Dalton, and you look at the numbers for Dak Prescott the first four years. They're the same. They're the same guy. In fact, the Cowboys may be better with Andy Dalton than Dak Prescott. That was That's what he right. said. And I believe, and I'm going to look and see because I think he said the same thing about trade for Andy Dalton. Well, Cowboy fans, here's our chance. We can save some cash going for Derek Carr. (laughs) That's what you want, isn't it? That's what you want, isn't it? Hey, Hey. don't pay Dak. Everybody in the league is better than Dak Prescott. Let's go get, hey, he was an MVP candidate. You know what? He was an MVP. He he made the playoffs one year. I be, I think they made the playoffs one year with them. Didn't there you they? Go. Didn't they? That guy is good. And of course, that guy. He'll be better he with our weapons, what he about. especially since he knows one of our weapons, Amari Cooper. You know that last year, those five games Amari Cooper played in with them, that I, Amari had 216 yards, and he checked out. Oh well, he'll check back in if we get Derek Carr. Yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. You know, I don't know. What I am. Um, I, I don't I sleep listen. a lot. I don't sleep a lot. I have. Um, I yawn a lot. A lot of pains and aches. Okay, we, we okay. We don't want to hear about between your pains my and back aches. and my knees and my yeah, arms. We, we, okay, we, we, uh, we nobody wants to. Nobody wants to hear. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Okay, what we care about is Derek Carr, and we don't care about having him with the Cowboys. This is another one of these. It's the off season. There's nothing else to talk about. So let's come up with some crazy shit. The Cowboys, they should trade for Derek Carr because he did such great things in New Orleans. Everybody in New Orleans just loved him there, didn't they? This is ridiculous, man. Get get out of here with this crap, please. All righty, good people. I will see you.